I prefer to think of things in terms of, of as an open system. That is that our body minds are not sealed off from the environment, that we are in relationship with on many, many levels, but particularly on an energetic level with the environment. And so whenever I talk about plugging into the big chi, that's what I'm talking about. I'm saying that, oh, you're not limited to your chi, the chi that, that is produced in your body mind. It's not limited to just what, to what you had for dinner and how well you're breathing. It's also how well you are plugged into the big chi, you know, the chi of earth and sky. And uh, I've talked a lot about that in this series, particularly as pertains to the three pillars, that if you can bring your plug in through the balls of your feet and reach with your the crown point of your head, then you are able to allow this energy, you become part of a much larger system and you are not limited to the energy that's only in your body. So then you open up to something much bigger. Um, so, uh, so the microcosmic orbit is basically whenever you are, are focusing on the points along the path of these two vessels, the conception vessel and the governing vessel, and you're circulating along those and you're removing obstructions to that. But if you engage in this embryonic breathing, that is you're breathing into your Dantian and you're filling up, um, you are, it creates like a bellows effect, it amplifies, but you also want to um, move, I like to move right past the microcosmic or or but go into the macrocosmic because I believe that that is a little closer to what I've been teaching and, and the rest of this, uh, this stuff. And that is when you are plugged into the chi of the heavens and the earth. So you are circulating it locally within your, within your system, but you're also constantly feeding in new chi. From the, from the yin chi of the earth and the yang chi of the heavens. You're constantly adding to that, which then creates bigger flow. And you learn to, to deal with that. You learn to, uh, to play with that. So what I'd like to do, if anybody, let's say anybody has some questions about all that stuff, um, I'd like to get into, uh, do a, uh, guide you through this, something like that. Anybody? Uh, any questions so far on all this? All good, all good. Okay, so moving on. The mac macrocosmic orbit is one name of it. The, the grand circulation is another. And um, we're, we basically have been doing it in, in, our, in these classes just that now we're going to bring put our attention on it and be aware of of that's what's happening okay we're going to we're going to bring our awareness in a little closer so that there is you the benefit from this let me just say that the benefit of knowing this stuff is that it's easier to notice when you are kinking the hose okay that's the that's the real benefit of it. If you if you are full bore channels open, you're gonna feel good. And if you're kinking the hose anywhere, you're gonna notice that there's a, a disruption in that once you start getting familiar with what it feels like to have those those channels open. So um, uh, this one I'd like to do standing up, if you don't mind. You can do it sitting down, but uh, uh, since we get 
more juice from a standing meditation, it's easier to keep track of what's going on. And if the energy gets too big, feel free to sit down and, you know, throw it away and start over again. That, that's perfectly okay. But um, it can get big. Uh, but I just want you to get a, a taste of it. All right. So begin, you want to feel the balls of your feet. So you want to feel that as your co primary contact point through your feet. Feel the balls there. And so when you feel the balls of the feet and those are little knobby parts there on the big toe line, what it's doing is it's opening up the young trend, which is the bubbling well point, which is at the center of the foot. And that's the kidney one point. So this is important because it's a, uh, the kidney meridians are uh, the two of the yin meridians, uh, the mer uh, meridians are, um, on both sides of, of your leg, uh, on both legs that, uh, that are, are two of the, uh, the yin meridians, the yin channels in the legs. So they, and they meet up at the Hui Yin. So you wanna feel that, feel that your knees are, are soft. They're not bent too much, they're just unlocked. So this, what this is doing is it's opening up the yin chi of the earth. Now you want to reach with the crown of your head, your knee wan. And some people talk about doing from the bai hui, which is just slightly, slightly forward of that, and that's fine. I uh, prefer the knee wan because it's what that does is you reach and open up the jade pillow gate, which is that point at the base of your skull. So you're at the top of your neck and you tuck in your chin a little bit. So now we have this connection from the balls of your feet up through the crown of your head. You wanna feel the uh, Wei Lu, which is at the, the coccyx, which is just posterior to the Hui Yin. So you can feel the Wei Lu, you can feel the Hui Yin, you feel that, that very Yin part of your body. You want to release the, the Qua. So just kind of doing a little boom, boom here, just kind of spiral down and release that. Reach out a little bit with your elbows. Create that elbow gin, opening up the shoulder joints. Reach with the fingers, particularly your index fingers. So you're creating a space there. So whenever you uh, want to do the, either the microcosmic or the macrocosmic orbit, you want to feel a slight lifting there on the Hui Yin, the perineum. So that closes the circuit there at the, at the base, at the most Yin point. Now there, there's a gap there between the, the Hui Yin and the, uh, and the coccyx where the anus is. And that's the, uh, uh, and the, you, you close that just by lifting slightly and there's, it makes, it completes the circuit there. The other thing is the tip of the tongue goes on to behind the teeth, just, uh, just slightly above that on the, the roof of your mouth there. And uh, not the roof of the mouth, but just the uh, behind the teeth there. And that makes that, a connection to this point right here, just under your nose. So there's a, a gap where your mouth is. So they wanna connect those two points. So when you do that, you have, you physically completed the circuit. So 
So the chief knows what to do and doesn't really need your help. But what we're doing here is we're basically increasing our awareness, our mindfulness of this process through this exercise. So even before we've done anything, just notice that you've got a pant load of chi going on. The whole body is, is kind of reverberating with the, with the energy. That's because you're, we're no longer a closed system. We're an open system plugging into the big chi. And this requires some practice to get, to learn to tolerate more and more. But we're, um, we'll do what we can. So the uh, so we have this this big chi this connection to the big chi which is constantly feeding the system, and we're going to now bring it narrow our focus to the governing vessel and the conception vessel, and we're going to take a, uh, a a short tour of some of the highlights along the way. And you can get much more detail than I'm going to be right now. I'm giving you the, uh, the, the nickel tour, but I think this is uh, going to hit the high highlights. So the first part is your Weilu, which is located uh, on your coccyx, your tailbone. It's on the anterior part of your coccyx, where the uh, located at the... Uh, um, ganglion impar, which is the, the point where the sympathetic nervous system meets up in your tailbone. So you want to feel that. So as you lift on the perineum, you want to, you can also kind of use that to pull your, your waylu forward so that you can actually, you're, it's like, like you know, a dog has a tail and they can kind of pull it in it's kind of like your tail, your tailbone. You can pull that in just using those perineal muscles very lightly. So just to create a connection there. And coming up a little farther, we're going to the uh, Ming Men point. The Ming Men is the, called the gate of life. This is a very important point in Taoist meditation and, uh, and acupuncture. It's at L3, so right about here on your back. So this is your lumbar area. So right dead center of your lumbar area is uh, L3. So around there is where your way loop point is. It's directly opposite your navel. So you want to feel that point. You can touch it with your hand. And you're breathing deep, diaphragmatically. And use the Taoist breathing. Keep your abdomen. You're not expanding your abdomen as you breathe. You continue to breathe down. And you feel the expansion there at the Ming men. So there are other points along the back, but I'm just going to fast forward up to the uh, jade pillow gate right there at the base of the skull. So you can touch that with your hand and just breathe and feel a connection from your feet to your Wei Lu, to your Ming men, to your all the way up to the jade pillow gate. Good. Now go. Next stop is the crown. So you find that that spot there, the posterior fontanelle. Find that and just put your hand up there. Just 
just anterior to that, just slightly above that, there's, you know, want to feel right into there. So you feel the connection from the feet to the Wei Lu, to the Ming Men, to the Jade Pillow Gate, up to the crown. Now we're getting to the, the yang part here. We're, this is the yang part of the body here. You know, traditionally the Bai Hui is considered the most yang point. So just slightly forward of that. That's uh, GV20, governing vessel 20. Next stop, we're going to the upper Dantian. So if we have the lower Dantian here, the upper Dantian is right here, the Yintang, which is the, um, the brow chakra, the third eye. Third eye. So you want to feel into that, feel the connection from your feet all the way up over the top to the upper Dantian. And come down to this point here, your tongue is touching the uh, behind your teeth on the uh, your, uh, your upper palate, but you want to feel it just under your nose. Yeah, and bring it down to this point right here at the uh, at the bottom of your neck, right where the you know the the clavicular notch here. I forget the name, the Taoist name for this or the acupuncture name, but this is feel this point here, and this kind of corresponds to the uh, fifth chakra in uh, in a, in the yoga tradition. And this has to do with your speech communication. So connect up to that. Now I'll take it down to the middle Dantian. So this somewhere in this area here, uh, you, you hear a lot of different reports about exactly where the middle Dantian is. I like to think of it as the solar plexus. So think of it, you know, go there right around the xiphoid process. So we have the upper Dantian, the middle Dantian, and the lower Dantian. Now let's go down to the navel. So this is opposite the uh, Ming Men. And this is a fire point, fire energy. Now let's take it down to the lower Dantian, sort of halfway between your navel and your genitals. And imagine in at the center of your body, a ambiguous space there, a nothingness that is creating the somethingness that is you. And finally, we get back to the Hui Yin. This is conception vessel number one, and that's at the perineum.
So the principle that we're using here is that the E leads the Chi, the Chi leads the blood. The E being the mind intent, that higher mind. And wherever we place that, wherever we take our mind with clear awareness, we'll lead the Chi. And wherever the chi goes, the blood, and by blood, that's sort of a shorthand for body stuff. It will go where you do that. If there is a kink in the hose, where there's something that's tight, like particularly there's there's a um, let's say your 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 chin's lifted, you're kinking the hose in your neck. You're feeling that tight neck kind of thing. You're kind of jutting your chin out, whatever that. Uh, that's you'll notice a kink in the hose there, which may give you headaches, may cause stiff neck, cause all kinds of problems. When you open that up, the energy flows freely and that stuff starts to go away. So on a subtler level, you may feel this in other places. Some people will feel kind of a stabbing feeling right here in the upper Dantian. They may get headaches, you know, I know as when I was a teenager, I used to get headaches that was that, you know, were centered around the upper Dantian. After I kind of made friends with that, then the headaches went away. So we want to bring love to these stuck points. Give it a big hug. So the energy is going to go where it wants to go. But if you can bring your awareness, you can help to lead it and circulate a little bit better. Now, like I say, it's, it's good to just have that awareness there so you can notice whenever things are not functioning at a maximum. But just feel into the way you feel right now. Feel the, uh, feel the vibrancy, the, uh, the sense of fullness that is occurring in within the body mind. Now we're gonna step in, take a deep breath. And disappear the chi, throw it away. This is part of the, the open system. We don't need that particular chi, we can toss it away because there's a lot more where that came from. There's an infinite resource of energy. 